Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Desolation. Last episode we got the second gym badge. It was pretty tough but once we kind of knew what we were doing, managed to pull through which is great. Did a couple of side quests. We're now going to finish off the final three or four ranger side quests which are I think all in the labyrinth. They're all like search and rescue quests which are super fun to do. I hate, I hate search and rescue quests and especially in a labyrinth where it's probably going to be very, uh, very tricky to navigate through. But there's an Apom in here somewhere, so we find the Apom, go back and then um, go and get another quest and then find that, whatever it is, and then same old, same old. And you guys tell me if I get all the quests done, we can then get a key, which we can then use in the Weeping Deaths to then find the book, which we got another side quest for from someone in Celeste City. Also, I didn't know this, um, probably should have read this ages ago, but uh, let me run away, dude. There you go. Or someone else for a little bit. Um, our Primarina has Liquid Voice. Now I just thought Disarmed Voice was just not very effective because maybe the field effects or something. But nope. Uh, all sound based attacks turn to water which um, yeah means Disarmed Voice has gotta go. <laughs> as soon as we learn a new move it's going. Let's start making our way through the uh, the lab one. Got a lid. Oh, it's gonna get wrecked. Need to do a little bit of grinding as well for Crow Gunk, because I think someone said level 37 it evolves, so that would be really nice. I did train up Primarina with the Ordino person a little bit, because level 35, but training this with um, the Ordinos was not easy. Oh, wow. Okay, let's just switch. Uh do Primarina. We'll go Sparkling Aria, because the summon voice ain't going to be super effective. And unfortunately, someone did say our charger bug evolves at a certain point in the game. It's got like a certain area, not like we're a thunderstone or just level up. So we gotta wait for that. And apparently it's not till where episode five would actually start. So um, when I played this game before, I played episode four, which was you know, the end of episode four. So we got a long, long, long way to go to Vicar Vault, which I, I guess I probably should replace him for a little bit. We can always bring him back when um, we get to that point, but... Ooh. Maybe get Zebra Striker to replace him until... Um, until we get to the point. Okay, I'm going to one-shot it. But that could be a good replacement. Oh, Miracle Seed. Nice. Let's give that to Roselia. 100%. Only question is, where do we get a shiny stone now to get Rose Raid? I feel like that's gonna be a while away. Ferret, what up? Uh, let's go round to the left. I wanna get that item and I wanna go check that house out. Uh, oh, uh, yo, what's up? Who says a young lady can't have fighting type Pokemon? No one. No one says that. <laughs> uh,. Flinch. Yeah, that's not gonna that's not gonna work. Let's go Fuji. And then we go lava plume. Set the field on fire. And a chill glass, okay. Come on. You can beat it. Nice. I'll have to go heal up in a little bit, but we should be fine. At least to get to the house. Got a super potion, nice. Don't wanna waste my potions just yet. Because we don't got much money. Wait, can I even get over there? Ah, uh, yeah, we don't got much money, and things are expensive. So if I can save items, then you better believe I'm gonna do that. So yeah, we go around this way. I mean, can I, do I have repels? I feel like I don't. Uh, I do not. Maybe I'll buy some when we go back to town. Probably just like a uh, rock like these guys. Get a teeny bit of XP on the way. Go away, Hoppets. Do not want to fight you. Alright, got this trainer up here. Ooh! Spoopa! Often forget you exist. <laughs> you ready for this healing wish? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not ready. Uh, right. Fine. 
for that XP, and then... I do not think you just go for Healing Wish right away, but I'm okay with that. You might go for another one. Yeah. I guess it's going to start failing now. This is fine. I thought, like, he was going to be that, you know, oh, I'm super weak, then go for Healing Wish, but no, he's just keeps going for it. This is kind of, kind of nice. More of this guy, please. <laughs> one more Ice Punch. Do the trick. There we go. Whew. That guy is much better than the, uh, the Ordino Trainer in, in town, because they go for takedown. So what do we have? Oh, what do we have here? It's music, yes. Don't know how you found our secret base, but you obviously aren't the normal trainer, huh? Uh, I guess not. Oh, you found our base. Hmm, you must be a smart one. This is a place of science. A place of research. A place of... Hmm... I think you mean secrets, sir. You just rambled some of them to some, some stranger. Would you shut your gosh darn mouth for one second? Why do I work here? <laughs> Alright, anyway. Now you must be a decent little scavenger, huh? Otherwise you wouldn't be here. We need people like you to help us pursue the goal of... Science! Discovery! Here we go again. Let me share my plan with you, homie. <laughs> this here island has many secrets. We've heard plenty of old legends about the island to figure, to figure something out. Deep down underground, in some hidden cave, there's treasure. Lots of it. And one day, we're gonna find it. Our project is a giant drill, capable of digging into the heart of this here island and finding us some treasure. We're working pretty closely with those ranger folk on Route 2, and one day, we'll find that grand treasure everyone's been talking about. You interested in helping us out, trainer? Yeah, man! Let's go! That's what I thought. My name's Jinx, and I'm in charge of this here guild. The Jinx Guild. We need little champs like you to help us. But how can you do that? It's real simple. For our drill, we need to do some, uh... Black market transactions, you see? Thing is, they deal in credits, not cash. So if you could, uh, donate us a few credits, we appreciate it. You give us five credits, and our partnership can really kick off. Uh, yeah, sure. That's what I thought. I suppose we can formally introduce you to the Bat Cave. Oh man. Oh come on, the door always jams. Finally. Wee! <laughs> Ooh, the Bat Cave. Must be new here. Welcome to the Jinx Guild. We dedicate ourselves to building the most diverse, high-spec gadgets for everyone. Nice. Oh, I'm not Matt. Matt's over by the teleporter. Oh hi. My name's Matt. I'm in charge of the Beamer Grid. But Jinx put me in charge of his new drill project too. So there's that. So Jinx wants to improve the lab while building the drill. So here's what's up. What you need to do is drop in some credits when you find some, and put it into use. Simple. Great. Every now and then I might have a more practical task for you, but for now just throw credits my way, okay? Okie dokie. Uh, let's push the... that. Sweet. Uh, sure. That's 10 credits. That's some nice cash. I'll put this to good use when we have some more. But for a temporary reward, take this. Sunstone, nice. Uh, another 10 credits. Don't have 10 credits. But when I do, you better believe I'll be uh, donated to the Batcave. It's got a little chair. <laughs> Yo, sup? This is my crib, where I chill with all my homies. Could you even be a little professional? Could you just turn around and get back to it, mate? I don't get paid enough. Anyway, welcome to my crib, the Jinx Guild. You know, I was gonna say, if I was a super smart scientist of a secret cave, this is how I'd be acting, 100%, but this is where we were gonna build the drill. If we get enough credits from a particular sponsor, which is you, homie, the more credits you bring us in, the more we'll build our drill, and the better this place will get. There's also the beam of grid that teleports you around and stuff, but that's less cool. The beam of grid is the most advanced thing we've built to date, sir. This will send us this lab and our connections. Well, I tell you the first time, scrub. <laughs> I suppose it earns some mention, but I'm not in charge of the Beamer Grid. That's my homie Matt's job. Anyway, I'm gonna see her on Tinder, so go talk to Matt if you want to donate or whatever so we can get a better crib. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's just leave here for now. Let's talk to this guy. Fraser Jinx is so awesome. Do you see how he jumped down the trapdoor like a ninja? I wanna be just like him. You know what? Me too. Me too. <laughs> Alright, so we need to find this APOM. And then we can just hit the beamer grid and take a little shortcut back to the ranger guild and uh, yeah, get another quest and so on so on. I'm hoping 
all the uh, the search and rescue quests are in like this general area. So you got the apron one here in the labyrinth. There might be more in the labyrinth. There might be some a little bit further on. I don't know. Right, uh, I'm gonna catch a little stronger one actually. Uh, so we want to go this way. No offense. But I do want to get a blitz. So I think a super striker could be really good. I think I'm lost. You and me both. Do Pida. All right. Rock slide. Rock slide everything. Actually, maybe not. Uh, let's go to Rosebud. Get that Mega Drain. Nice. Ooh, let's go. And Sea King. Make a dream, baby! Critical cool hit. Not like we did it, but still good. Alright, Apon, where you at, dude? I need you. I won't be leaving here without you. Uh, got a dead end. Right, let's try and capture this. Uh, let's go Crow Gunk. Sucker Punch. Right. That might do. Actually, uh, let's go Ice Punch. Oh, that'll finish you off. Okay. So that wouldn't finish you off, but it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I mean, just find another one. Not like it's difficult to find, you know? <laughs> but that could be good for the team. <gasps> There's the Apom. Okay, uh, way picky peck. So I think we follow this path around and we got it. Hey, what's up? So the trainer's Apom, send Apom back to the guild? Yes. Right, so let's now go back to the guild. Which I'm just going to cut to because it's, it's quite a while to get to. And I'll, try, I'll probably catch a Zebra Striker on the way or something. Zebra Striker, Blitzel on the way. So I'll see you guys at the Rangers Guild with a Blitzel. Oh, I found a shiny Blitzel! Hey, it's taking so long to find one, but I found a shiny one, so that's actually kind of clutch nice ah oh, let's go cannot mess this up come on nice we got a shiny blitzel hey to replace the shiny charger bug <laughs> that's actually so cool uh i don't want to call you uh zebra striker Mmm, salts. Let's go with salts. <laughs> uh, yes. Sorry, Vicar Volti. Like, you'll come back on the team at some point, my dude. It's just that you're going to be a little bit useless because you can't evolve at the moment. But when you can evolve, oh, you're coming back. Right, be my grid. Uh, is this the Rangers Guild? Yeah. Let's go in here. And let's hand this in. Right, so 600 and I got a credit. Just one credit. <laughs> Kinda sucks. Alright, so how many more quests we gotta do? Uh, my pony tower is lost. Right, I read the note. My pony tower ran off into the Vigia Peaks. Too afraid to go in there. Could I arrange to go in and send my pony tower home? Two credits, hey? Yes. Right then, here's the rest. My pony tower hates big rooms. Hopefully that might help you. So Vigia Peaks, that's gonna be... That's going to be fun. All right. Uh, let's go and heal up first. And let's go to the volcano. All right. So I found the pony tower. I'll show you guys how to get to it. So there's the pony tower over here. Let's go and grab this. Oh, so many cameras in here. That would probably be nice. All right. So send it back to the guild. So pony tower is in this building here, which is just... Uh, actually, I actually need to go around. I think it's at the last bit of the uh, oh, the rock puzzle. So going across, it's uh, this room's where you get the Magby where the ranger guy was blocking the way. And then, yeah. So it's, it's pretty easy to find. Go like this. Trying to get back though. It's going to be long. Back here, so we go like so. 
Yeah, and then we're pretty much out. Whew. So that was so long to find. <laughs> had to go to like every single room. And then encounter then it. Oh, Primarina's cry is actually very, very annoying. I thought I'd do Primarina to be easier just to take stuff out if I have to fight. And just to cry every single time. I still can't believe we found a shiny Blitzel. That's actually kind of nuts. I wasn't even like trying to find one. I almost gave up. I was about to say like trying to get a Blitzel was taking way, way too long. Like it's, it's funny. Like oh, I see Blitzels. Oh, I'll get one. Not too hard to find. Try find one. Nope, too hard. <laughs> All right. So now there's what one more quest to do. How many credits do I actually have now? I wonder. Right. So. We are now doing Find My Trubbish. My Trubbish ran off when we were walking around Celeste City. I can't find it anywhere. Okay. Uh, I know my Trubbish will be outside somewhere, probably near Rubbish. Right, so it's got to be in Celeste City. Somewhere near Rubbish. We've we'll checked all the, um, the rubbish cans. Probably inside one. Somewhere. Oh, there's a little chingling. Uh, well, that's the trouble I found it, but don't really want a chingling. If you want a chingling, there's one there. Oh, yo, that was easy. So when I, f I first got the quest for that search and rescue stuff, it was Apom in the labyrinth, and we couldn't do it. So I just assumed the other two were, you know, by the labyrinth or further in. Could have done these like ages ago. <laughs> My bad. Right, so let's hand that in, and then that's all the quest done, isn't it? Right, good job. Thanks. Uh, our jobs. Seems I was right about you. I have a special job for you. Ooh, job for no ordinary ranger. Need to go into the weeping depths and fetch a memento of mine. I'll get it myself, but I'm too old for this. Six credits, question mark, question mark, question mark. Yes, excellent. There's a secret library under there. It was built by a friend of mine. Find the memento in the library. It's a small pendant that left there, that left a, there a long time ago. Okay, you'll need this to get inside. Got an ancient key. Nice. All right. Uh, before we do that, I want to see how many credits I've got. But surely the six credits will get push us over to ten to get more um, stuff for the. Uh, what should we call it? Does how many credits I got? Uh, maybe on our trainer card. I don't know how many credits we have. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the Weeping Depths. And now we can uh, go into that room that was locked. Get the book for that woman in Celeste City. And uh, yeah. You know, a lot of side questy stuff. Right, out the way. Just wish I had some repels. Board some, I keep forgetting. But it's fine, it's fine. Uh, right, isn't it? Yeah, right is right. Might also do some training as well after we do these quests. Go beat the Mordinos for a blitz a little bit. Not sure what level we get a Zebra Striker, but I feel like it's around 30. I want to say like 37. To me, sounds like could be it. Maybe like 32. I think it's in the 30s, or late 20s. I haven't used one in such a long time. Right, so we need to go... The door was to the right? No, that's the cave one. I think it's a little bit higher up. Uh, where you at, door? There it is. Ancient key. Ooh. So we're after like a certain book as well. So I'm just gonna click on all the bookshelves just in case. Not sure what book we need. Very creepy though. <laughs> Just gonna click on 
everything. Just the oh wait, maybe it's like an item. Well, there's the memento. But what about the book for the lady? Oh, is this it? Uh, it's an old book, dusty and tattered. It seems untouched. Hey, you got the weeping book. Okay, so we got the two things. So we've done. I feel like we've done everything we can at the moment, side quest wise. I'm pretty sure. If I have missed anything, let me know, but I'm pretty sure we've now done everything. And the only sort of like event stuff we haven't done is use Poker Candy on the um some Pokemon, but that's if you want the Pokemon, it's not like for events. I need to use the candy if I want to uh, do like a side quest like for the Squirtle. You know, I need a candy to get it to move. I'm not going to catch all the air, uh, just the Pokemon chilling around. Almost out. Alright. There's going to be some encounters and i still got a while to go. I'm going to cut to when we get to the Rangers Guild. I'll see you back in a second. Alright, we're back at the Rangers Guild. Let's go hand this in. Could it be? You found it. Kudos to you, Ranger. You really are something different. You've uh, really helped out the guild around here. Don't let the reward go to waste. Six credits and return. Nice. And 3,000 uh, uh, poker dollars. Nice. Thanks again. Be sure to visit our other branches of the Rangers Guild. Front Aerith. I will. Make sure there's nothing. Yeah, cool. So, now we've done that. Uh, actually, let's first go to... The Jinx Guild. I feel like I must have over 10. We've got 7 credits doing them side... No, we've got 9 credits doing them side quests, so we should have easily another 10. Not bad, mate. That's a nice cash. I'll put this to good use right now. Some time passes as construction is done. Well, that's done. This place looks uh, miles better now. Ooh! And we got that jewel side. Thanks, dude. I think for now, all we can do is wait. Hit me up later, though, okay? Okie dokie. Ooh. Okay. What do you have here? Matchup, Pichu, Houndour, and... What items do you have? Oh. And TMs. I can get healed up here. Nice. Got a box. Ooh, and a back door, well. I'll admit, my crib is looking a lot slicker. Keep throwing credits our way, boy. I like this business relationship. The drawer is being built as we speak. Eventually, we'll be able to go to the center of the earth. <laughs> Actually, sounds pretty good, man. Not gonna lie. All right. Um, the Beamer Grid. Let's go back over to the Rangers Guild. I want to go back to Celeste City. I want to do some grinding. Uh, just to get Blitzel to... Actually, I kind of want to get a Crow... Not... Oh, Cro Crogunk. Toxicroak. I want to get a Toxicroak and uh, Zebra Striker. So I'm going to do a little bit of grinding. I'll see you guys uh, when we're done. And we'll start heading through the Labyrinth. Catch you in a little bit. Alrighty, so I finished my grinding. And our Blitzel evolved into a Zebra Striker at level 28, I believe it was. And it looks so cool. It's like black and orange. Oh, I love it so much. Looks so good. So, so good. So, I totally forgot as well. We need to go and hand this book in, don't we? And I think... It's one of the houses over here. You. Sup. That's it. That's the weeping book. Thank you so much. I hope this is enough of a reward. Five credits? Yeah, man. It's really good. Thank you. Alrighty. Sweet. I really hope, like, building this drill is totally worth it. <laughs> I really, really, really hope it is. Alright, so... Uh, let's make our way out of this labyrinth, shall we? I'm just gonna run away. Still need to try out Krogunk a little bit, but I'm kind of to train him up against the Odinos. So gotta keep switching to get enough XP and but Zoltz was just sparking everything. It's funny, it took me ages to find this one Blitzel, but I'm mean, happy because it's shiny, but there you go, two in a row right there. The moment I get one, it's just like, yo, all of them are gonna appear. <laughs> Uh, so that way was to the apron, wasn't it? So we want to go this way? Because the right side was a dead end, I believe. Oh. I 
feel like we're almost out. Hey. Oh. There's Aaron Scarlet. Hello, Volti. Hey, Volti. Kind of told Scarlet that he wanted to stay behind in Redcliffe for a while. Probably thinks he'd be the new hotshot gym leader there. Anyway, on to business. I think this lift is the way up to that uh, cloud rig that Adarin was raving on about. Had the Jinx Guild originally built this, which means its safety is uh, questionable. There's no other way home anytime soon. So, let's do it! You are good with this, uh, Scar? No? There's no other way? That's the spirit. Last one there is buying drinks. But I don't. Looks like you'll be buying, buying then. <laughs> Whee! Oh, looks like I'll see you up there, Boltsy. Don't dawdle. I'll try. Alright. Well, I think it's probably a great place to end this episode up. Uh, next episode, we're going to head up top, and I think we're going to get into actually a few few battles. So actually, I might do a little bit more grinding just in case. At least get the Toxic Croak. Yeah. I think I might do that just because, if I remember correctly, we get into some battles up there. And um, it'll be good if we were grinded. So I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Peace.